What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So, I got some bad news, fellas. Um, I'm gonna tell you what happened, and I'm gonna tell you the story. So, R.I.P. to the Prelude, man. R.I.P. Um, as you probably saw, this I went and did all the tune prep. Went and got tuned. And um, long story short, man, my motor blew. It happens. Um, so basically, my motor literally blew chunks, man. It, I've never blown a motor before, so it was like you know how sometimes your your car stopped running. That's one thing, but like my motor actually blew chunks, bro. <laughs> like I've never experienced that. So. Um, I just kind of want to, this is going to be a short video. I just want to, you know, explain to you guys what happened and what I have planned moving forward. So, basically, like I said, I literally blew chunks. I don't know how well, nah, I'm not, you're not going to be able to see the hole. There's an actual big ass hole in the block. You're not actually going to be able to see that until I get everything taken apart. I think I do have a chunk of it though in the uh, inside the car. But, um, as you know, I went and got tuned. Um, the tune was excellent. Don't get me wrong. Um, the, my guy, Matt, I trust him. Um, it, it wasn't because of the tune. I'm gonna explain to you guys what happened. Here is a chunk of the fucking block. That's just a piece of it. I mean, it's a bigger piece than that, that got blown off on the road. Um, but while I was getting tuned, um, we, he kind of figured out that uh, I had boost creep issues after like that 7,000 RPM range. And the long story short of it was he couldn't, there was no way to control it. I upgraded from a 38 millimeter wastegate to a 44 millimeter, which was supposed, to, was supposed to remedy the situation. But there was no way to really truly know until getting tuned. So while getting tuned, we realized that basically, um, it's basically a flaw in the manifold design. Um, we've had boost creep issues in the past. Um, I actually had the uh, manifold, um, the actual back of it that connects to the block, um, sand it down and flattened, and that actually made it worse because now there was no there was no leaks. And so, um, so yeah. So basically, what happened was at, at the moment of the moment in question, um, I pulled up at the stoplight, and there was this 370Z pulled up. And uh, it's a local guy. I've seen him a few times, and he had like like solid gold wheels on it. And um, and uh, he was kind of driving a little like he wanted to do something. You know, you know how people do. They pull up and they're like, oh, a little Honda. But you know, what I'm saying, little did he know, right? So I'm like, well, you know, what I'm saying maybe it's time for the Lou to dish out his first L. Cause I was like, if he's stock, I mean, he's definitely there, there. Was just no way I was gonna blow him. I was gonna blow his doors off. I was gonna turn back around. Matter of fact, I probably would have put it in reverse, went back, and blew his doors off the other side of his car. <laughs> but anyway, so in the midst of all that, first, first, I knew first gear was useless, so I took off slow in first gear. So did he. Second gear, I get halfway through second, and he's like trying, trying to pull away. You can tell he's trying to like get the jump. So I hit it in second. Boom, man. This is a, a, a reenactment. And then, as soon as I shift in the third, um, motor just, it sounded like a bag of wrenches dropped on the ground, and then it sounded like uh, like I ran over a patch of rocks. That just is the most accurate description I can give you. So it's like, and then like tools drop, and then I, it's like I ran over a whole patch of rocks, and like shit was like clanking up in the, in the wheel wells, and it was, I mean, bro, I just, and smoke, a puff of smoke came out, and I smell it in the cabin. Bro, I, just, I never experienced nothing like that. It was crazy. But uh, anyway, that's what happened, man. And um, basically, I, I don't know 100% what happened, but I think I want to say that because of the boost creep issues, I'm supposed to be running 10 pounds, but after 7,000 RPMs, um, it spiked to like 18 while I was tuning. Um, and I think that's what happened. So I think it spiked to 18 and basically bent the rod and blew chunks out the block. So um, that's the story of what happened. So yeah, moving forward, um, this, I don't know, man. Uh, I plan on getting another S20B. Um, I'm kind of 
I'm kind of stuck between whether or not with the F20B for my power range that I was going for. I wasn't looking for more than 450. I don't have to sleeve my block, um, but I think it would be smart to at least drop rods and pistons in it and get the motor honed. Um, and then I also plan on getting the same guy who fabbed up my uh, my dump tube and fixed my or put the new wastegate flange on there. I plan on uh, letting him um, build me a custom manifold. Um, make it work, man, because. Uh, Cars on. It's weird. There's no key in it or nothing. Anyway, he's gonna build me a custom manifold, and um, it's gonna start over, man. I think the good thing about this is that um, when I started the channel, I already had the majority of the motor stuff done. Like I had the motor already in and running. So at least now you guys get to kind of come along the journey and kind of it's kind of almost like hitting the reset button, and um, you guys get to enjoy the uh, the journey. So throughout the winter. We'll be pulling this motor, putting a new one, reboosting, re you know, redoing the manifold, all kinds of goodies, man. So just you got something to look forward to. I mean, stuff happens, motors blow, it's 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 all about pushing forward and moving forward and keeping it moving, you know what I mean? Don't let it get you down. Um low key, I kinda I'm kinda I was kinda psyched that the motor blew. That way I could uh build that joint. We're going for eight hundred horsepower this time. Nah. But uh yeah man so like i said just a quick update video um so you guys stick with me got a lot more content coming soon now just stick with me we'll, we'll trust me it'll be worth it but uh anyway um if you're not already subscribed uh you see that right there yeah hit that man that little circle that's the subscribe button smash the like button and i'll see y'all on the next one the grand opening I come through and start smoking shit I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you